In this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate these first five integrals that appear in the MIT Integration B Qualifying Exam 2020. Let's get started. Let's evaluate this integral, integral of uh, ln of 2x over x ln x dx. So this uh, integral here looks uh, familiar, integral of dx over x ln x. We know that uh, we can easily solve this by u substitution. So if we let this to be our u, the ln x, if u is equal to ln x, then our du is just uh, equal to uh, 1 over x dx. Okay. So how about the ln 2x? Well, we can just write that down as a sum of a constant and the ln x using property of ln. So we can write this down as an integral of ln of 2 plus uh, ln x and then all over ln x and then times uh, dx over x. So by making this uh, substitution, we'll get here integral of ln 2 and then plus u all over u and then du. And this is just equal to what? Integral of a constant over u du. So that is equal to ln of 2 times ln of absolute value of u. And then plus integral of this one, which is equal to 1. So integral of 1 du. So that is just u. And then plus c. And putting back the u in terms of x, we'll get here ln 2 times ln of absolute value of ln x. And then plus ln x plus c. Next problem. If you look at this uh, second uh, integral here, so I think we can easily solve this by u substitution. So if we let uh, u to be equal to e to the x, then our du is equal to e to the x uh, dx, which can be written as uh, u dx. And this implies that du over u is equal to dx. So therefore, we can write our equation into this form. So we have here integral of 1 over u plus 1 dx is du over u. And then limits of integration. So when x is equal to 0, we'll get here e raised to 0. So that is 1. When x goes to infinity, so e to the infinity. So that goes to infinity. So now we can already do here a partial fraction decomposition. So the partial fraction decomposition of this one will get here integral from 1 to infinity of, you have here u plus 1, some constant over u plus 1, and then some constant over u and then du. So to easily find the constants here, just you use a cover up. So you cover this up and then find the value of this when u is equal to negative 1. So when u is equal to negative 1, the value of this is just negative 1. So that is the constant on top of u plus 1. So how about the constant in the numerator of uh, this fraction? So again, you just do cover up technique. You cover this one and find the value of this when u is equal to 0, and that is equal to 1. And you can check that the sum of this is indeed equal to this uh, fraction. So we can easily integrate this now. So we have here negative 1 ln of, so that is negative 1 ln of, or negative ln of absolute value of u plus 1, and then plus ln of u evaluated from 1 to infinity, so ln of absolute value of u. So this is equal to ln of absolute value of u over u plus 1, okay, evaluated from 1 to infinity. And this is just equal to, as u goes to infinity, so this goes to 1. Okay, So you may divide the numerator and denominator by u. And you can write that down as 1 over 1 plus 1 over u. So it is clear that as u goes to infinity, this goes to 0. So the limit is equal to 1. So this is ln of absolute value of 1, or simply ln of 1. But this is equal to 0. Okay, And then the value of uh, this when u is equal to 1. So we have here minus ln of absolute value of 1 half, which is simply ln of 1 half. So this is just equal to ln of 2. Next problem. So for this uh, integral here, so again, before you try any other techniques of integration, the rule of the thumb is uh, try to do substitution. And if you look at this uh, integrand here, so probably we could try u equal to ln x. So if u is equal to ln x, then du is equal to 
1 over x uh, dx, which is uh, just uh, equal to this one. So this is our du. So we can write our integral into this form. So we have here integral of u, ln of u, and then times uh, this remaining factor here. It is just equal to du. And then limits of integration. So when x is equal to e, so that is equal to ln of e is 1. And then when x is e to the e, so that is just e. So this integrand here, we know that such integrand can be evaluated by integration by parts. So let me do integration by parts uh, using the DI method or tabular method. Okay, so uh, we have here ln of uh, u in this case, and then here is u. So we differentiate this one, we'll get 1 over u. We integrate this one, we'll get u squared over 2. So this integral, if we apply integration by parts, it is just equal to, you have there u squared over 2 ln of u, and then minus the integral of, you have this uh, product here, okay? So this minus is this minus here, and then integral of that product, which is equal to 1 half u, and then du. So this is just, uh, of course, the limits of uh, integration here. So since this is a definite integral, so this is just from 1 to e, and then 1 to e. So this is equal to, you have here, e squared over 2, and then ln of e is 1. And then you have, when you plug in 1 for u, you'll get 0. Then the value of this integral here is just 1 half u squared over 2, which is equal to 1 fourth u squared. Evaluated, so we just evaluate this uh, term here from 1 to e. So this is equal to e squared over 2, and then minus, you have here e squared over 4, and then minus 1 fourth which is uh, equal to e squared over 2 minus e squared over 4. So that is uh, e squared over 4 and then plus 1 fourth. Okay, now let's uh, look at this uh, integral here. So we know already that we can handle integral of like uh, ln u du, right? And uh, this uh, ln of this quotient here can be written as difference of ln. So we can easily evaluate this one. So we can write it down as a integral from 0 to 1 of, uh, you have here property of ln, so ln of 1 plus x, and then minus uh, ln of uh, 1 minus x, dx. Now let's uh, integrate uh, each of these uh, terms. So let's uh, evaluate first integral from 0 to 1, ln of uh, 1 plus x, uh, dx. It's easier to evaluate this one if we just write it in the form ln u du. So let's uh, change the variable here. So let uh, u to be equal to 1 plus x. So our du in this case is just dx. So we can write this integral as integral of ln u du. And the limits of integration will be when x is 0, u is 1. When x is 1, u is equal to 2. And to evaluate this, so this is a form that can be integrated by integration by parts. So let's integrate this using tabular method. So we have here, okay, differentiate, integrate. So we have here L and U and then one. So derivative of L and U is one over U, integral of one, DU is equal to U. So we have this integral as you have here UV. So this is your UV, that is U, L and U. And then minus integral of V DU. So minus uh, integral of uh, 1 over u times u, so that is 1 times du, so that is 1 times du, and evaluated from 1 to 2, so that is 1 to 2. So this is equal to, you have here 2 ln 2, and then uh, minus 1 ln 1, ln 1 is equal to 0, so that is minus 0. And then minus, you have here, of course, integral of du from 1 to 2 is just equal to 1, so that is minus 1. So this is equal to 2 ln 2 minus 1. Next, we evaluate this one here. So let's evaluate integral from 0 to 1 ln of 1 minus x dx. Again, same thing. We replace this 1 minus x here, okay, as u. Then our du in this case is equal to negative dx. So we can write our integral as integral of ln u and then times negative du, 
and then evaluated when x is equal to 0, you have here that is equal to 1, and then when x is equal to 1, that is equal to 0. And uh, interchanging the limits of integration, 0 to 1, we have to multiply this by negative, so we'll get here ln u du. And we know already the uh, antiderivative of that one, which is uh, u ln u minus u. Okay, so this is just equal to u ln u minus u, evaluated from 0 to 1. So this is equal to 1 ln 1, so that is 0, minus 1. And then minus, uh, you have here, okay, so it's like 0 ln 0, but uh, we can take uh, the limit in that case. So uh, we can, we need to find here limit as u approaches 0 from the right of u ln u. And then you have here minus 0. Okay, so let's evaluate this uh, u ln u. So the limit of this, the form of the limit is 0 times uh, negative infinity. So it's 0 times infinity. So it's an indeterminate form to evaluate that. We can do some manipulation uh, to write it in the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So that is just limit as u approaches 0 from the right of, you have here ln u over 1 over u. And our limit is now in the form negative infinity over positive infinity. So infinity over infinity, we can apply L. Hopital's rule in this case. So this is just equal to negative 1 minus, you have here limit as u approaches 0 from the right of 1 over u, derivative of the numerator over derivative of the denominator is 1 over negative 1 over u squared. But we can simplify this. Okay, just an, uh, perform algebra. So this is just equal to negative u. So the limit of that one is just zero. So therefore, this is just equal to negative one. So therefore, our final answer is 2 ln 2 minus 1 and then minus uh, the integral of this, which is equal to negative 1. So that is minus negative 1. So this is equal to 2 ln 2, and we can write it as uh, ln of 4. So this is our final answer. Last problem. So let's evaluate this integral. So this is not hard to evaluate because this is just 1 over a quadratic expression. So this is equal to integral. So let's expand the denominator. We'll have here x squared plus uh, x squared minus uh, 2x plus 1. And then dx, which is equal to integral of 1 over 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 dx. So I have a video in my channel about a shortcut in evaluating integral of the form 1 over ax squared plus bx plus c. So if you're interested in the shortcut in evaluating this integral, so check the information above this video. So the shortcut for this one, so we have to determine first the discriminant. The discriminant, it's the value of d, which is equal to b squared minus 4ac of the denominator. So in this case, you have b is negative 2, negative 2 squared, and then minus 4a is 2, and then times c, times 1. So this is just equal to negative 4, which is less than 0. If the discriminant is less than 0, the value of this integral is just equal to 2 over the square root of the absolute value of d, and then it's tangent inverse. Okay, so it's arc tangent of, you have here 2ax plus b all over abs square root of absolute value of t, and then plus c. This is not hard to remember because uh, this one is just the derivative of the denominator. So if we apply that uh, shortcut, we'll get here 2 over the square root of absolute value of d, so that is square root of 4, and then you have here tangent inverse of uh, 2ax, so it's only the derivative of this one, which is equal to uh, 4x minus 2, and then all over is square root of 4, and then plus c. So this is just equal to tangent inverse of, you have here 4x minus 2 all over 2, plus c, of course that is equal to tangent inverse of, uh, cancel the common factor, so you have here 2x minus 1 plus c. Of course, if you don't know this uh, technique, this shortcut here, we can still evaluate this by completing the square. So let me show that one. So what if we want to show this by completing the square? So again, this is just equal to the integral of 1 over, in expanded form, 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 and then dx. And we do completing the square, we factor out first, it's easier to do completing the square if the coefficient of x squared is one, so we pull out one half, 
and this becomes 1 over x squared and then minus x and then plus 1 half dx and we do completing the square here so we have here 1 half integral of 1 over you have your x squared minus x to complete the square here you divide the coefficient of x by 2 and you square it so you'll get 1 fourth and since the constant is 1 half there we still need to add 1 fourth so these two integrals are equal and then this is a perfect square trinomial so that is a dx so this is just equal to 1 half integral of 1 over you have here x minus 1 half quantity squared and then plus the square of 1 half and then dx and we have a formula integral formula integral of 1 over u squared plus a squared equal to 1 over a tangent inverse of u over a plus c so using this uh, in integral formula we'll get 1 half times 1 over a so 1 a is just 1 half so 1 over 1 half and then tangent inverse of our u is uh, x minus 1 half and then all over a our a is 1 half and then plus c but this is just equal to tangent inverse of so to simplify this complex fraction multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 so you'll get here 2x minus 1 plus c which is the exact same expression as we got a while ago so we have the exact same expression tangent inverse of 2x minus 1 plus c